Hi, this is Marco, and in this video I will show you the game between Mikael Dahl and Ulf Andersson. This extremely beautiful chess game was played in Sweden in 1976. Mikael Dahl had white pieces, and he started with e4. Ulf Andersson played c5, Sicilian defense, knight to f3, d6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, attacking the pawn on e4, defending e6, and Tal played bishop to e2, going for the Scheveningen variation of the Sicilian defense. Bishop to e7, and both players castle the king's side. f4, knight to c6, bishop to e3, a6, queen to e1, knight takes on d4, bishop takes on d4, b5, rook to d1, bishop to b7, attacking the pawn on e4. Okay, let's have a good look at this position. White exchanged the center pawn on d4 for a flank pawn on c file and is intending e5 forcing well placed knight on f6 to go to a less favorable square so it looks good for white however this position is thought of as a double edged the game continued Bishop to f3, queen to c7, e5 attacking the knight, d takes on e5, f takes on e5, and Anderson played knight to d7. If knight to d5, knight takes knight, bishop takes knight, bishop takes bishop, pawn takes bishop, c3. Position fibers white. In the game we have knight to d7, bishop takes bishop, queen takes bishop, knight to e4, rook from a to d8, rook to d3, the rook lift, the rook is going to the king's side, queen to c6, attacking the pawn on c2, how would you continue? Perhaps c3 comes to mind, or queen to e2. Tal played rook to g3, sacrificing the pawn. Queen takes pawn. Queen to e3. Queen to c4. b3. Queen to d5. White to move. We have reached very interesting position. The most interesting position of the game. White to move. What would you do? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. What did you find? You know it's not some ordinary move. Tal played knight to f6 check sending his knight to fire. Pawn on g7 is pinned, so we have a bishop takes on f6. e takes on f6. Black to move, what would you do? g6 or knight takes pawn. Anderson played g6. If knight takes on f6, then, how would you continue? This is what Tal had in mind. Rook takes on g7 check. King takes rook. Queen to g3 check. King to h6. Bishop to e3 check. King to h5. Queen to h3 check. King to g6. Check. That is why Anderson played g6, rook to g4, king to h8. White to move. 
how to continue to attack. One idea is queen to h6, but this doesn't work. Let's have a look what happens if queen goes immediately to h6. Then rook to g8, defending against checkmate. Rook to h4, threatening queen takes on h7, but now knight to f8. And black is okay. So, Tal played bishop to b6, intending to deflect the knight. If knight takes on b6, then the queen to h6, and after rook to g8, rook to h4, and black has no time to bring the knight to f8 now. So after bishop to b6, we have rook to c8, queen to h6, rook to g8. Again, if rook to h4, knight to f8. So what is the best move for white now? Tal played the best move, rook to d4, attacking the queen and exiling the knight on d7. Knight takes bishop. If queen goes to c6, how would you continue now? Check. King takes. Check. Mate. So Anderson did the best he could under circumstances. He captured the bishop. Rook takes queen. Knight takes on d5. Rook to f3. And if black is not careful, just let's play a random move here. Then queen takes on h7. King takes queen. Check. Mate. So Anderson played the best move, rook to c3, rook takes rook, knight takes rook, queen to e3 attacking the knight, black to move. What is the best move for black? Anderson played b4. Knight to d5 would offer the best resistance. After queen to a7, attacking the pawn on f7 and one on a6, rook to f8, queen takes on a6, b4. The toughest resistance. In the game we have b4, queen to a7, attacking the pawn on a6, and the pawn on f7. Rook to f8, queen to c5, attacking the rook and the pawn on b4. Rook to b8, white played the move and black resigned. The move is queen to d6, forking the rook and the pawn on b4. Of course, the one on a6 too. If rook goes to c8, then the queen takes on b4. And after knight to d5, queen to b7, attacking the rook again. Rook to f8, then queen takes on a6. And pawns, white pawns on the queen side would be unstoppable. What else? If rook to b7, there is checkmate in one. Checkmate. What do you think of this game? Did you find the killer move? Let's go back to this very interesting position. This is the position. Did you see knight to f6? If you did, congratulations. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video.
I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.